You're listening to the Cricket Podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Cricket Podcast for our IPL 2024 team preview of the Gujarat Titans. We've done three teams. We're on our fourth team. We're nearly at halfway. We're nearly at the end of part one, if you're an audio listener. Remember, as I've said at the beginning of each of these team previews, to like and subscribe. And maybe head over to Twitter as well, at the Cricket Pod. We're 37 shy of 5,000 followers there, which would be good. It would be good to get to 5K before the IPL. Then we'd be a real mm. big dog. <laughs> Uh, we're probably probably what we need to do is just tweet a couple of photos of Coley training. I'd be like, Coley, <laughs> Co- Coley is with it, with ready it, to a completely unrelated news item. So in, yes. no, so inspiring. <laughs> Look at his work ethic, and all of a sudden we've got thousands. Yeah, Coley turns up to training. Uh, right, good at Titans. They are well. They've had a captaincy change, and, and we talked about Mumbai and their new captain because he used to be. The old Gujarat captain. They they now will be led by Shubman Gill, who had a pretty good season last year. But the coach stays the same. Ashish Nera um, still in charge there. It's kind of... I, I mean, at some point we're going to have to talk about Hardik Panja being missing. Um, m- maybe not right away. But I, I want to go on record yet again uh, and say that they've torpedoed themselves with that decision. Um, kit review. Uh, for what I can see, it's like Mumbai's kit. Uh, except a lot darker, and that's it. That's all I've got. There. Is that why Hardik left? Doesn't like navy. I think I wondered whether Gujarat were trying to design a kit that looked like Mumbai's kit to trick Hardik into staying, <laughs> but I don't know. Got the colours slightly off. Um, it, it, they, they do look very similar. Uh, strengths wise, let's let's start with some strengths, as we have with all the the previews, um, and with with Gujarat, it's a little bit difficult to analyse what it will be, because I think the fact that Hardik doesn't play for them anymore and the fact that Mohamed Shami is ruled out for the entire IPL probably change where the obvious strengths of this team are quite significantly. Um, so last year, they were extremely good in the power play with the ball, thanks to Mohamed Shami, and, and they were pretty good at the death, thanks in part to Mohamed Shami. And they were very good at the death when it came to batting. Now, that wasn't really anything to do with Hardik Panja, but Hardik, what Hardik Panja was able to do, along with Shubman Gill, was set up some pretty decent foundations for people to go ballistic. Now, we don't know whether they'll be able to replace those foundations, so I, I'm not sure I can say that they'll be able to do the same again. But if you do look at that middle order, and we'll focus on this because I think this is the, the strength that really leaps off the page straight away, it is it is pretty good um and i i think that's that's one strength um the other two obvious strengths and people probably thought i would lead with these are that they have rashid khan uh and, and they have and vj shankar and vj <laughs> shankar yes yeah no that should have been gill um so they have you know it, it, potentially the potentially the best bowler in the tournament i mean like boomer and rashid khan probably quite close uh when you when you look at them side by side and they have the guy who was, you know, uh, unstoppable last year in Shipman Gill. Now, will he repeat that? It, probably unlikely he'll be as good. But if he's, you know, somewhat as good, it would be, it's, 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 a, it's a major, major strength. And the other strength that I'd point to is that, and this is a little bit more esoteric. And I, 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 was, I, I did spend a lot of time on Gujarat and we actually had to delay the whole podcast because I was doing Gujarat Titans um, research. I think this is a team that have a whole load of above average players. Now, they might not be like huge names and they might not be like absolute megastars. And some of them might actually be quite boring players, but I think almost all of the players that they could conceivably get in an, in an 11, and even guys who probably won't be in the 11, so Robin Mins, Abin Manahar, uh, Abin Af Manahar, Sai Kishore, Matt Wade, Omar Zai, the, the Afghan guy they picked up, all of those guys could probably come in and actually do an above average job for the role that they were doing. So they're, they're kind of the anti-Mumbai in a way. They've spread their talent pretty thin with like a Rashid Khan and Shubman Gill pair of cherries on the top of the the Gujarat cake. So that that's that's kind of what I was thinking um, with them. Now weaknesses wise, um, I, I I think they're going to lose a lot with Mohammed Shami in particular being out after he took twenty four wickets for them last year. Um, he was absolutely awesome, 
and was probably worth like two players um, when it, when it came to his performance, so particularly because he was he was so good in the power play, but not you know in in a sort of slightly dissimilar fashion to the rest of his career, it was actually really really good at the death as well, and that kind of dual threat um, caused them a lot of problems, caused other teams rather. A lot mm. of problems. Um, other other couple of weaknesses that you might want to point to here. Riddam and Saha is 107 years old and probably will still be opening the batting for them in the kind of power play exploiter role that it doesn't appear he's necessarily capable of pulling off anymore. And if you're looking at one specific area where their, their strength in depth is a little bit weaker, uh, batting probably is it, and particularly overseas batting, where Kane Williamson and Matt Wade, who I don't think will start, but but might be required if they need to make a change later in the tournament. So I, I don't. Well, I don't yeah, Wade's missing the opening game, in. isn't he? He's, he's staying yeah. to play in the Sheffield Shield final, so um, okay. he's definitely well, missing that. that so. Yeah, there you go. You got one thing there. Um, the other thing, the other weakness, and this is maybe a harsh weakness, is that you know, like Mohit Sharma was really, really good last year, and I'm not sure that he'll be as good I'm this amazed. year. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, like it would be quite a bolt from the blue. Um, Car-wise, I've gone for a Volkswagen Polo. <laughs> pretty dependable. My car. Yeah, yeah, you know, pretty dependable. A decent car, Max, as you'll be able to testify. However, they're not as good as a Golf. And this team, it used to be a VW Golf, and now it's been downgraded to a VW Polo, I would say. Mm. Um, quite a difficult one to analyse, Ross, I, I would say. And uh, I... I I've tried to pull out the key themes there. Decent, f- decent but flat team profile in terms of talent. <laughs> yeah, but well, they've lost, they've lost two of their best five players, start. right? That, 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 that's the that's the crux of it. Any team is going to be worse off for that. Um, and yeah, is Sharat Khan going to be able to replace the runs that Hardik Pandya scored for them and play that role? No, <laughs> I don't think it's based on all the evidence that is there. Um, and like, who is who is ultimately going to pick up what kind of um, Shami? So, um, Max, I know you've seen a little bit of Spencer Johnson down in uh, down at down at, uh, at the Oval, watching your Oval Invincibles. Yeah. Um, Josh Josh Little kind of has been yeah a, a decent player for them, but again, I think they might need to go with a slightly different tact. Um, I think now they've got a different set of cards. They're going to have to change what they were good at. I, th- I think actually they should be looking to play someone like Psykish or more. I think they need more of a spin-heavy team and rely on that strength rather than actually um, try to address the weakness that they now have in Shami. So I'm expecting to see a, a shift in their game strategy in order to give them the best chance of winning. Um, but it's going to be pretty dogged at times but they've got the explosiveness of someone like David Willer and um, Tuatia, so you can never truly write them off. But the, the, surely at some point, the clutch that is Gujarat Titans kind of falls out. So um, it's going to be tough for them. Uh, Max, I don't know what do you think. Like, um, I, I, I did struggle to... I, I struggle to place how good this team are because it's quite, they're a little bit conceptual. But Ross, as you yeah. say, they've lost two of their best five players. How's the team going to play? Even if you think the replacement players are actually quite good, how, how does that actually look on the field and with a new captain? That's the question. Yeah, well, I mean, I agree with with what uh, Ross is, is saying in general about having to think about a new way of, of playing because it's, um, yeah, if, if you lose two key parts of what's made you successful, you have to think about um, how you react to that and how you get around it. Uh, but, Gujarat, uh, a silly, a silly though, because like we we made the j- joke in the past, don't we? Like you look at the side and you think, like, yeah, they're fine, they're serviceable. How many games do you want? Do you think they're going to win this year? You put a number on it and then you double it because for some reason they just win games from ridiculous positions, whether it's Tuati or Rashid Khan or whatever, like helicoptering sixty off twenty. I, uh, it just it just happens. Whether that still happens with without Shami and Pandya is questionable, but. They're just, I don't know, there's just something about them. I actually wouldn't be surprised if we see Robin Mins playing. I reckon Riddim and Saha will start. I reckon he'll play three games, be absolutely turgid, and they'll bring him in and, and do something else. Maybe open with um, Sysa Darson, mix things up. Maybe even Kane Williamson open He's the back. Sysa Darson's a good, Darson's good uh, player. He's a good yeah, player. Something, something like that. But I can I can definitely see a change there because I think Riddim and Saha 
possibly had the worst strike rate of anyone who faced um, any number of balls in the uh, power play last year. And when you're losing something from your middle order like Hardik Pandya, that's not a great way to start your game of cricket. So I'd be interested to see whether whether that happens. And I think that should happen. I I I, I am surprised it didn't play Psycho Shore at all last year. Because no, not at all. His, his economy is uh, off the charts um, as, a, as a bowler. And again, like without Mohammed Shami and the wickets that that brings, maybe they need to think a bit more about pressure and drying up and other ways of taking wickets. That, that part so, there, Max. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, yeah, they're, they're a real interesting one. I think, I think that's that part. I think they are one of those teams who's going to look to say, look, our, our ceiling is probably 175, right? But we're going to try and squeeze kind of what they've got. There's going to be other teams that will just blitz through them. But this team have got a probably a, a, a plan of bowl first, try to strangle as much as possible, and then unleash the beast in the middle order. Because kind of having Miller, Tawatcha, and Rashid Khan is kind of that five, six, seven, or six, seven, eight. It's going to be very, very good, I think, for them still. So there, there's definitely ways for these guys to win cricket games. Um, and someone like Umesh Yadav maybe does step up again. He had that purple patch when he played for KKR, and mm-hmm. maybe does maybe can fill a bit of a bit of a hole. I think they will play quite a lot of different 11s, but I'm going to give you one anyway. So I, I, I think the strength and depth being something that really is a strength for them means that they can be adaptive. Umesh Yadav, for example, Ross, isn't in my 11 here, but there are certainly grounds where I think that Umesh Yadav would be a reasonably good selection. Mm. Um, should, so I, I think it will start something like this. Shubman Gill, Ridman Saha, Sai Sudarsan, Vijay Shankar, he's in. Uh, David Miller, Sharak Khan, Rahul Tawatia, Rashid Khan, Spencer Johnson, Mohit Sharma and Nur Ahmed. I was wondering whether they might use, I, th- I think that lineup. Um, basically uses an overseas impact player situation with Josh Little and Thomas I and Williamson maybe as a, as somebody that could come in. But, but Max, I'm glad you mentioned mentioned Robin Mins again as well. Um, I think there's, so if you don't know who he is, he's a wicketkeeper who MS Dhoni is a big fan of. So obviously he's got the, no more. the, the magic touch. I'm not sure he's played a proper cricket match. I mean, like obviously he has, but nothing good enough to get onto ESPN Crick Info. So this is like a, a real... The real um, cricket hipster selection by yeah. Gujarat, the 3.2 crore. Um, he's 21. He'll bat in the middle order if he plays. And if that happens, they can kind of reformulate their team. So they could bin off Ridman Saha, move Sadarsan up, and then maybe e- extend that kind of bomb squad in their middle order even further through the addition of Mins. Now, there's a little bit of a spanner in the works there because he was in a motorbike accident last, accident last week and has been in hospital. So, um, yeah, apparently he's fine. It's just like a bruise oh, knee good. and some stuff like that. But, like, you don't know... Hmm. You know, people don't... People don't necessarily bounce back from having their superbike <laughs> written off for the for the tournament in six days' time. Like, it's... Um, Bishop yeah, Pant's coming you know, back. <laughs> Yeah, so I like. I, I, I think they definitely play Kane Williamson. I think they can't help themselves. Okay. I think I think they definitely play him. I, I, th- I think the whole thing here is: can we bat out the 20, 20 overs? I think that their game plan goes from being quite exciting Bobby squad to being quite turgid. But they already have Gill and Sudarsan, so there's no reason to have Williamson there, and they have VJ Shankar as well. Like, there's no. Williamson is adding nothing on any of those players. Like, no, Williamson... but they started him last year and yeah. he only well, didn't I... play because he wrecked his ankle on a boundary. It was neat. No, I, I, look, I, I, I know that you're both saying facts, but I, I'm saying... <laughs> I, you're saying I, no. Saying... <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, that, I know that they did do this. But I'm saying as well that, that Kane Williamson is like heroically bad at T20 cricket. His his strike rate in major T Twenty comps in the last three years is one hundred and two point eight. <laughs> like that's how, how, how many games are going to play this year in total? 14. If they got to the final, how many games do you play? Fifteen or six, sixteen, 15 or 16, sixteen to sixteen or seventeen actually. Because you right, can. here's a good, here's a good go. Over or under nine appearances for Kane Williams? Under. I'm I'm over. I'm definitely over. Okay. I reckon well, that, it's be that, nine exactly. <laughs> that would be a huge, a huge downgrade to be, to be honest. And if they do that, I, th- I don't think that they can realistically threaten the playoffs. Um, home venue is the Ahmed Ahmedabad Boys Dome, also known as the Ma- the Modi Dome. 
Um, it's quite hard to predict what will happen there because they seem to be able to produce like every different type of pitch. So maybe they will go heavy on the spin. I mean, like Cy Kishore as well, quite absent from this discussion so far, but everyone says that he is, and all of the numbers make him look like one of the best spin prospects who is Indian. Um, like certainly better than some of the players that will be playing for other teams. But Mumbai. he's kind of he's kind of blocked by Rashi Khan and maybe also blocked by Nur Ahmed, to be honest. Um, mm. So we, we we don't know whether whether we'll see him, but maybe they will. Maybe they'll go spin heavy, play three spinners, including Sai Kishore, or use him as the impact sub, and we'll see some some sort of low turning pitches and Kane Williamson getting fifties. They've got yeah, they've got players for it. Right? They've, got, right? yeah, they've <laughs> got players to do it. They've got players for that. They've got got players. They to could, do it, yeah. Especially at home. They're gonna, especially they're gonna two thousand and four Greece the IPL. <laughs> they could. I mean, like, look that that. That is a it is a possibility, or 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 they won't, and hopefully they don't. Um, <laughs> predictions wise, I you you'll probably be able to tell from what I've said about them so far. I don't really know. I've got them in the playoff chasing pack, but I kind of wouldn't be surprised if they were much better than that and actually really good. And I equally wouldn't be super like blown off my chair if they. <laughs> did Finish play in a dismal team and were rubbish. Um, yeah. Like, we've seen Kane Williamson and Rashid Khan team up for some pretty tragic cricket at another franchise in the past, haven't we? So, <laughs> it's it's not beyond the realm. I, like, I, I like how they've navigated that situation. Rashid Khan, you're not getting the captaincy. Williamson, you're not getting it. Gil, you're having it. Yeah. Um, that's it from me. Should we take a break and come back with the last last, last preview of this series or this episode, uh, Lucknow Super Giants? We will, of course, we should say this as well. We will, of course, be back with RCB and CSK and the three other teams that aren't as attractive as them when it comes to hooking in listeners, but do include <laughs> KKR, who sometimes are. So that's coming up. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the Cricket Podcast so that you don't miss out on all of that action. Uh, there'll be individual videos on YouTube or in one big block if you listen on Spotify or Apple. Break time.